Hi, and welcome to a very special NT scene. Now I can tell that you're as excited as I am, so let's just start the show, shall we? those images in my head. I knew they meant something, but what? What did it all mean? And then, it became crystal clear when I saw it, and I had to have it, again. The original Nintendo Entertainment System, which was released in the early 80s, and brought smiles to millions worldwide. But did those same millions remember this now prehistoric device as I did that day? How's about we find out? I'm Matthew Mole, and this is NT Scene. Do you like video games? Yes, a little bit. A little bit, all right. You know, in new video games, you can be like a CIA agent, or you can be a hitman. You can be anything. You can be even James Bond if you wanted to, right? Yeah. Well, do you think there should be a game where you're a plumber? Rock on. Who wants to step up to it first? That's me. That's you? I don't. All right, what's your name? Greg. Yonder. Greg. Nice to meet you. What memories do you have when you were uh, playing Nintendo? Like, oh, I, like, I played it for hours, and my mom would be really mad at me, and I'd, like, I'd blister my thumbs and stuff playing some of the Nintendo games. It was pretty cool. How many hours a day did you play it? Uh, about three or four. I was, like, inside a lot. Do you have any time for homework? Uh, what's homework? You just play it every day after school? I'm a girl, so I didn't get those kind of systems for Christmas. My brother did, though. So I try to sneak and play with this stuff, but it's definitely a guy thing, though. I think. Ah! <laughs> All right, you suck. Have fun. So you like uh, you like the old school games more than you like the new games? Yeah, definitely. These new games they make you think. They're really complex. Like you can't just go into it without you know just la 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 la. You gotta go into it with, okay, game mine on. And you gotta be really focused. <laughs> Peanuts to peanuts. You know what I like about these remote controls? Is they're ergonomic, so I can really press the buttons faster, and I, yeah. I, I play better that way. Hey, hey, what are you doing? You Get away! My peanut racing. God, peanut <laughs> spectacular! <laughs> it's Mario. <laughs> it's Luigi. The old chestnut. He's back from the grave. So what did I learn that day? A simple blast from the past? Haha, <laughs> no! I learned to always stay in touch with your roots, whether it be family, friends, or the occasional video game. For we will need that connection if we are ever to make our warp to the next level. Did you like that? Good. You'll like this one too. He's a he's a lost cause, but maybe. I mean, we're, we're well, signed. What can we do? Right, well, we can you make know. a few bucks off. This. I suppose that's right. Okay. How you doing? Um, all right. We have reviewed your report. I'm John Johnson. This is my associate, Matt Locke. You have been arrested for the murder of a Bob S., is that correct? Do you want to uh, tell us your story? My story? I don't know if you're ready for my story. 
I don't know if you're ready for my story. I'm afraid we don't have. Yeah, time we're, we're to... getting paid by the hour, man. If you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I got bored one day, so I decided to 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 go to a carnival. Would you like to tell us about the carnival? I can just picture the cotton candy right now. No, 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 no. There was this Ferris wheel there, and I. I wanted to ride on it, but just got, well. So you, you didn't want to get on the Ferris wheel? You were, you were scared of it, is that where you're going with this? Oh. What was it about the Ferris wheel that bothered you, bothered you, bothered you, bothered you? Was it because of the height? Because, you know, I've got a cousin who's got a... Any, anyway, oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I know him. Yeah, he, he can't How's stand height. How's his kid, anyway? So half retarded. That's too bad. Um, anyway, back to what you were saying. The drug use didn't help. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, Matt. Yeah. This is about you. That's too bad. We'll, we'll, we'll take those minutes off our, our billing, Matt. Oh, man. Activities. They had so many activities to play. You know, you could, like, shoot and for, for prizes and... and There was rides. As far as the far eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. The eyes. The mirrors. The mirrors. The mirror, the mirror, the mirror. The mirrors. The mirrors changed me. That's why I decided to drop everything and get on that Ferris wheel. So, the next morning, I woke up, and I was still in a daze. I didn't know where I was. And then, I saw it. Or rather, I saw the lack thereof. So you're saying the carnival just up and disappeared. That's what I'm saying, now, man. We're not calling you a liar, but you're obviously wrong. I don't think that's the entire no, truth. No, no. What are you leaving out? I really can't see without my glasses. We're your lawyers. We need to know the oh, truth. man. It wasn't there. I'm sorry. So, I was still in a daze, trying to think what happened to me the night before. Then I saw right next to me. It was SpongeBob. It was SpongeBob SquarePants. He was dead. He had a knife. I picked him up. I took the knife out. Like that. And my fingerprints were over. So I ran. I ran far. And that brings us to today. That carnival was real, and I have the proof. It's real.
Bob. Oh, Bob. <gasps> <gasps> All right. <laughs>